One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com, and what I've got here for you today is this Jeep that I've had on my lot for quite some time. Reason being, it's a very good Jeep. It's a 67 Jeep Wagoneer. Grill's in great shape. Chrome is in great shape. I'm going to show you under the hood first before I even go around it. It's all taped up. Somebody stole my oil bath carburetor. I mean, air cleaner. It's in good shape. It's a runner. Look at the bag. Breeder! What's wrong? You're okay. Jeez. Okay, it's in great shape. I'm going to go around. I got a patina on top. Now all rusted up. Um, around the doors here, where it usually gets rusted out in the fender, it's not. It's nice and clean. Tiniest of rust bubbles starting on the paint right there. And the worst rust on the whole truck is right there, just in that strip and that piece. Cut that out, weld it in, or you could get a whole eighth panel or whatever it's called. Ding there. Crack in that little piece. Chrome's nice. Weeds are growing up around it here. It's in great shape. All the visors on the back. See, this piece is in great shape, except that red light's got a crack. This red light's in great shape, except it got dinked right here. And that's pushed in because of it. Couple dings, tiny dings in the chrome, but that back piece is in great shape. Straight as can be going down it, not all in it or beat up tiny bit right in there that's just the only places I see it um, and underneath it's nice it's tight it's clean now I'm taking this with my Google Glass now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this back door so you can see look at this nice nice seats not all cracked up or nothing I want to say they're original, but they're just in such good shape, you almost think it has to have been redone. Uh, but they could be original. I don't know. Blue seat belt strap. That's been added. It's in great shape. The headliner's okay. There's a couple little tears back there, and that back piece is coming off. Um, still got the factory matting back here. This clamshell piece is still mostly in one piece, except for that. This piece is missing. Which is supposed to look like that one. Um, door panels, everything. They're in good shape. Starting to curl up around the edges just a little bit. They could be even back out. Foil starting to come off of that. Look, they even got the wind guard and stuff around here. This is a classy one. Nice Jeep. Not all rusted out in here. Nothing like that. Um, I can't start it right now. It, um, you know what? I think it's a little damp right there. That piece is rotten out a little bit and it's a little damp right there. It must be coming in. The wing window? I don't know. I don't see it coming in the top. That's for sure. A little slice in it there. Um, dash is in. Pretty damn good shape. No cracks, but it's starting to peel up a little bit there, or fold up. Look at this. Nowhere, anywhere. I believe that there's 45,000 miles on the sheet. Look at that's getting eat out too, eaten out too. That little cardboard piece. I sure would say that this is original miles Gary you're in the UK and um, I know you've been looking at this a bit I told you I'd get you a review I'll go open the other side real quick oh and then doors close nice 327 V8 I think it's a I don't know that's not original that Lund but the other stuff I think is factory to the car um it's in great shape. That's that. We've went around it a couple times now. I don't know what channel I'll upload this to or what have you. God, I want to say it's original. I really do. I just don't want to and be wrong.
There's some info for you. Look at this. I don't even think there's a pedal out there that looks like that. Look at that. That's a Facebook picture for the day if I ever seen one. Okay, one owner car guy, one owner car guy dot com. The Jeep. This one. It closes, took a little bit more. Okay, well thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, the Jeep. I like it. Hope you do. If it's it is first sale, give me a call anytime, Nathan. 406-544-6919. More cars? Bonneville, SSEO, SSEO, SSEI. Faded like crazy, but look at this. It'll actually buff out. It's in good shape. There's a video on my channel, but it's a lot old. It's a lot old. Look at that's just rubbing it real quick. And there's so much dust and dirt. And still, see that shine coming through. This thing, get it out of here. Um, nice wheels, full shot. Get it out of here. Nice tires. I'll take um, 550 bucks. Lexus, it's got a TP throttle positioning sensor problem. I just want to get it out of here. Um, and I've been selling them little by little. Seats are nice. This is a nice car, like 132. The clear coat is just beat to hell. I mean, you could buff it out and it'll look decent. In fact, I mean, it looks nice. It's got, especially on the sides. The sides, look at this. The sides look great. But, nice tires, nice wheels, everything nice about it. Look at the video. Get this thing out of here, 995 bucks. Get this thing out of here, 1250 bucks. It's got a rebuilt transmission that they paid 2200 bucks for. Nice car. I've had it too long. Good car. Eldorado ETC, get it out of here. 1300 bucks. Got some stuff on it, but it's very clean on the outside, very clean on the inside. 80,000 original mile. Like I said, a head gasket. 85,000 original mile, 300 SE. Nice car. Uh, you can get it out of here for 1350 bucks. Just get it out of here before I do anything else to it. Suckers got stinking grease on my, I don't even want to talk about it. Pisses me off. 90,000 miles, excuse me. Good car. Diesel, Volvo, Porsche. There's a review on my site. It's still in good shape. It's uh, uh, something wrong with the motor. Get it out of here, 1350 bucks. I love those phone dial wheels. And the seats in this one are especially nice. Well, there's a crack in the passenger one here, but I hate to start ripping it apart manual and parting it out. It's a one on a car and it got Hold it out because of that right there. Still driver. This thing, you don't even really want it. It smokes a bit, salvage title. I'm gonna part it out. If I had the hubcaps off of it, it's a runner and driver. I'd take 600 bucks. Parts junk as is. But I think I'm probably just gonna start tearing it apart. This one is a nice running, driving, great car. Just needs some paint. Um, in fact, you should see the interior on this one. It's in great shape, absolutely great shape. Look at this. Hey, there's tacos in there. Well, not really. It was just trash. 600, that, there's a review on my site. Nice 80,000 mile car with a knock in the motor. Starts up, runs. Um, get the heck out of here. 900 bucks. I just want it gone. Um, that's sold. So, I gotta get some cars moved around is where I'm at now. Has he got them both? He's got them both. They fit right in there? Yeah, I gave it a shot. It fit perfectly. What year is this? 89? 85. So, uh, so they have the holes for them. They just don't have them in there. Yeah, these were more like the Euros. But do they have the hole? They have the holes. The holes are there. They're just empty. Nothing in them. Nothing in there. There's um, the perfect space for the bracket. <laughs> wow. That's where I can walk back. No, there's nothing out here.
The bathroom's out by the tree, but there's no water back there. Did you get them both? You did, huh? Yeah. Thank God you had that piece. Otherwise, man, it would have been a two hour job. Where's it at? Where's the socket at? Oh, it's on top of the car. Around the trunk. It's not the trunk. Okay. You gonna cover them? Yeah, I'm gonna get them reupholstered. Tan? You got a guy? This guy in San Marcos is relatively free. Yeah, so I took pictures of the interior. No money. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you, do you have a credit card machine like you can take credit? No. Ah, oh, shit, because I only had 280 in my bank account. I'm not trying to pull a sneaky here. Dude, come on. I got out 250. I can leave them with you. Well, no, Lee, yeah, give me that, and then um, I'll have her PayPal you or something like that, or I'll I can do that, or I can do it later, or whatever. We'll we'll take care of it. You're you're good for 50 bucks. For sure. That's what I've heard, at least. So you got enough for lunch now? 50. You got enough for a drink on the way home? Well, I got my credit card. Oh, okay, I was trying okay. to take money out on that. And yeah, I can have her do a PayPal or something like that. That way. I yeah. can swim by whatever. No, no, whatever. Sure However it works. I'm all good. You know, I'd like to get out and get up there. That'd be cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of cars. You should because I think you'll get a good audience just because of the A lot of cars? Yeah. And there's a lot of Merc dudes up there too. It's not just beamers. I mean Yeah, that'd be neat. I, I really would like to check that out. I always want to and then I never I never take the time. In fact, I wouldn't even got out of my office from doing videos if you wouldn't have called and been wanting to do this. It's I pain. appreciate it. Um, if you got anybody for a 93 740 Jeep, I've got one. It's faded. Uh, yeah, I regret I should have took pictures last time. I'm like, because I keep telling people about the interior. There's some dude telling me. Some oh, you're, that's now. 733. I was talking old, newer style. But this too, yeah. It's okay. What's his name? Breeder. Breeder? Yeah. I breed beagle. We have about 50 of them a year. Man, you, got some nice nerves. you want this, man? I need to get rid of that thing. If I was a bloody mechanic, man. Yeah. I just don't know anything about motors. I can read about them all day long. This one's a good runner. The guy put a $2,200 transmission in it. Um, and I've let it fade. You've got too much.